citizens. Greetings. You have arrived at the most opportune time. Virginia and the American cause are in the greatest danger. I need your help to save them. The time has come for you to undertake a most critical mission. All will be explained, but first, if you will allow an introduction, I am Thomas Jones, governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia, your servant. Let me now acquaint you with my guest. Please have the honor of meeting my friend, the Marquis de Lafayette. Excellency, the honor is mine. I am proud to be in the company of such brave American patriots who wish to serve their country and this cause of liberty. Citizens, that which we have feared since the beginning of this war for independence has now come to pass. The British Army have invaded Virginia and threatened to overwhelm and conquer us. General Washington has sent General Lafayette to us from the north with a small army to attempt to hold the British at bay. British General Phillips and the traitor Benedict Arnold have been raiding the countryside, but they have not had the troop strength to defeat us. But now, General Cornwallis brings his army up from the Carolinas to join with them. Their combined forces, we fear, will be more than we can combat. This is the mission that I must ask you to undertake, dangerous though it might be. We need for you to discover two things that will help defend us against the British Army. Firstly, we need to know more about the enemy's troop strength and what we will face once Phillips and Cornwallis' forces unite. How large will this combined army be? And second, once you have learned more about the enemy's numbers, we need for you to find out where the British plan to attack. What is their primary target? This information is vital for us to know to make our preparations. Even if our forces are outnumbered by the enemy, we can remain one step ahead if we know their intended movements. That is why the intelligence we have asked you to gather is essential to our cause of independence. I understand you carry special messaging devices. That is how we will transmit the information you gather to our network of agents. You also have been provided a map of Virginia in your set of orders. Guard it carefully, as it will be essential for learning about the enemy's movements. In case you are not familiar with the technique for determining distances, let me demonstrate how to calculate how far apart two points are upon a map. Hold one end of the string atop the westernmost of two points. Then stretch the string to reach the other point and mark it with your finger. Without moving your fingers, line up the end of the string with the end of the scale and pull the string taut. And the same technique can be applied to discovering locations within a specific distance of a node. Hold the end of the string at a point of zero miles on the scale and stretch the string to the distance needed, say, 60 miles. Then secure the end of the string on the location and swing it in an arc around that point. Anything that the string crosses is within the original distance measured. As you see, Williamsburg, the capital of Virginia, until last year, is less than 60 miles from Richmond. Although no longer the capital, the city remains central to the spy networks of both sides. That is why we need for you to travel to Williamsburg as quickly as you can. We have an agent there who goes by the name 109. The agent has intelligences to impart to you that will aid your mission. Meet with 109 as quickly as you can and follow very carefully all of the instructions relayed to you. Once you have met with Agent 109, begin following your orders, but you must follow them explicitly. It is critical for you to do so. If you need assistance during your mission, other agents friendly to our cause can be identified by blue and white ribbons they wear upon their person. Only those wearing that ribbon can be truly trusted. The time has come for you to begin your mission. Our freedom and independence may rest on the actions that you take. God save Virginia, and God save American liberty.